Hello fellow detectorists. Yes, here I am again. Back out on my normal permission. It is April the 8th. It's a Saturday as usual. I am here most of the day. And at the moment we've got lovely weather. It is practically like a f absolutely sort of still. There's, there's hardly any wind whatsoever. You can hear every little noise, all the birds. It's great up here at the moment. And let's hope it stays like it. But anyway, I'll get on with it. And as always, you will see me at the first find, whatever it might be. Anyway, bye for now. Right then folks, we've got our first target here, but it does sound a bit too good to me, so it might be a bit of lead or a big button, but we'll see. I'll do a live dig on it, it doesn't sound very deep. Interesting. It looks like a bag seal, but it's not. I don't think it's lead, I think it's pewter. So if it's pewter, that wouldn't be a bag seal, but it looks like it's in the shape of a cross. As you can see, it's almost like the center part of a cross. So that is interesting it could be a bit of wi almost window frame work I suppose but that's the first find we'll carry on see you at the next one Now folks, I just had a find down here and it is a coin, it is 1928. Anyway, that's quite nice, let's carry on. Bye for now. Hi well, folks, just had quite a nice, nice little find here. It's nothing that special, but it's a button. It's quite a nice little one. Or it would have been had it 
in its day. Can you see the pattern on there? It was gold gilded. I'll see if I can't. Highlight that a little bit. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, it was gold gilded. It's got a nice pattern on there. I suspect some of these buttons in their day would look really special. Anyway, we'll carry on. Bye for now. Hello folks, I just had another nice little a nice little button actually from out of this hole just down here. It's a tiny tiny little thing as you can as you can see it's got a tiny little shank on the back of it but on the front it's actually got a glass inlay Unfortunately, it's a bit chipped, but the glass has got a pattern on it. How about that? That's quite nice. I think it was probably a little, possibly a little, either a cuff button, a shirt cuff button, or possibly a, a shirt collar button. It is quite small. I'll take some pictures of it later, so you can have a better look. Anyway, I'll see you at the next one. Bye for now. Hello folks, well it's definitely the day today for unusual buttons because I've got another one here and I've never had one like this before, not this size anyway. I've had a couple, only a couple of smaller versions but look at that, now that is for the style of button that is huge. I've seen these round buttons before. where they've got where they've got these big sort of loop shanks on the bottom of them and they're sort of like a round slightly squashed ball shape but how about that that's that I reckon that must be quite old that one that's unusual I don't I I haven't had many of those up here on this field Like I say, I've had smaller versions of this before, but nothing this size. Anyway, we'll carry on, we'll see what comes up next. Hello folks, just had another target down here and as you can see it is a thimble unfortunately it's had a whack with the plough but 
anyway I'll get the, the dirt out of it once I get home and have a closer look but that's just the standard thimble I think anyway let's carry on see a date or not but yeah that's nice anyway we'll carry on see what comes up next bye for now Hi folks, just had another target come out of this hole down here and there's another coin, it's another half penny I think but this one is a bit more recent, I think it's I think it's a George V so I'll, get, I'll clean it up better at home, it's quite corroded anyway We'll carry on. Bye for now.